Hello everybody and welcome to Lex's World. Today we're going to talk about how to identify, manage, and prevent various leaf spot diseases on cannabis, most typically identified as yellow leaf spot or leaf septoria. But before we dive in, today's episode is brought to you by... TNB Naturals. They're the makers of various gardening products like single-use CO2 systems, and they even have their own YouTube channel. I'll link to them down in the video description. Alright, so, leaf spot is a plant problem that is far from unique to cannabis where mysterious spots form on the fan leaves and then to a lesser extent on the stem of the plant. It's most often fungal and sometimes it's bacterial and the various microorganisms responsible for what gets identified as leaf spot have become so problematic in cannabis the last 20 years that there's even been various genus within the fungi kingdom like septoria that have have gotten specific species additions within the genus named for the issue, like Septoria cannabis. But there's actually a host of different organisms that can cause slight variations of the leaf spot disease. Let me try and sum up what it generally looks like. Usually the spotting starts on the lower leaves, not because there's any sort of mobile, immobile thing going on like with nutrient deficiencies, but because the fungal spores tend to originate from your soil, especially if it's old used soil. Next thing you know, there's spots all over several leaves, usually clustered in one area of the plant, and often the spots are yellow, but they can also be brown, gray, or even black right from the get-go. Sometimes the other colors turn to black slowly as the disease worsens. The spots at this point may look like some sort of insect damage, but despite looking very carefully, you won't find any insects. Also, unlike with insect damage, which tends to be a bit more uneven, like with thrips, these spots are going to be a lot more uniform and circular looking. That's because each spot is actually just the receptacle for a spore and the damage is spreading outwards from within the spore. This is something contagious that spreads, so obviously your first line of defense is to immediately and carefully prune or remove all affected leaves and get rid of as many spores as you can that way. The reasons your garden could be hit by this class of disease is three or fourfold. Number one, watering and letting too much water get on foliage when you're watering is one cause. Number two, keeping humidity in your grow space too high for too long. And number three, generally poor grow room area cleanliness or the fungi being present in your old used grow medium from before. Fungi can easily survive the winter in soil. If you really suffer from leaf spots or septoria regularly, for prevention outdoors you can do crop rotation, which is moving the plants to a new spot each cycle. Also keeping your topsoil clean of dead leaves and raking helps. And indoors you can always just swap soil between cycles. And of course you can stay on top of removing damaged foliage off of plants, giving plants more spacing from each other, and using a layer of mulch on top of the growing medium to prevent the spread of fungi from the medium to the bottom leaves. Usually though, simply changing out your growing medium between cycles and being on top of removing the generally damaged foliage that's, you know, infected or dying, uh, that's generally enough to keep this disease at bay. Those sickly leaves are a great target for spores. I should highlight at this point that leaf spores are rarely a total plant killer. This is not an overly serious disease, but it can drop your yields sharply. If you're running a 24-7 grow space and can't afford to let the problem get out of control and have no time to clear out and sterilize the room, one way to get rid of a fungal plant disease is with a copper or sulfur based spray. There's also a natural spray good for bacterial or fungal diseases that's also fruit safe called Serenade which I'll link to down in the video description as well. And there it is guys, that's leaf spot disease or leaf septoria or the brown blight or yellow spot disease. Whatever name you want to use, that's how you handle it. If this was useful, please subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you all next time.